Hello and welcome, I'm Stormer and this is the Daily Gaming News for April 27th, 2016. Blizzard responds to community after closing fan-run vanilla server. The Nostalgia server was closed after Blizzard threatened legal action a few weeks ago. In a statement on the World of Warcraft forums, executive producer J. Allen Brack explained Blizzard's reasoning for forcing the server to close. Why not just let Nostalgia continue the way it was? The honest answer is, failure to protect against intellectual property infringement would damage Blizzard's rights. This applies to any Thing that uses WoW's IP, including unofficial servers. And while we've looked into the possibility, there is not a clear legal path to protect Blizzard's IP and grant an operating license to a pirate server. Brack went on to explain the difficulty in officially supporting a vanilla server, saying that, if we could push a button and all of this would be created, we would. He also discussed the idea of a pristine realm that wouldn't be able to be used for character transfers, recruiter friend bonuses, WoW tokens, heirloom gear, or cross-realm zones and group finder, but gave no definitive answer on whether Blizzard would implement such an idea. Bethesda releases Fallout 4 modding kit that supports PC and consoles. The Fallout 4 creation kit is now available as a beta on Steam. The creation kit is the same tool that Bethesda used to develop Fallout 4. Available mods will be browsable within the game itself through a new mods menu. Mods will also be available on the Xbox One in May and the PS4 in June. Retailer confusion leads to early Uncharted 4 sales. Amazon sent emails to customers with pre-orders stating that the game would ship yesterday before following up with customers to clarify that it would not be. UK retailer CEX had the game on shelves and sold at least one copy early. Gaming website Videogamer.com spoke to a CEX customer who confirmed that he'd been able to purchase the game without any trouble, but that the online components of the game were unavailable when he played it. Copies of the game have also shown up for sale on eBay. The game was originally intended to launch this week, however Naughty Dog announced in March that it would be delayed until until May the 10th. Next Call of Duty game title leaked. A PlayStation Store entry for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare briefly appeared before being pulled down. Popular YouTuber Jim Sterling tweeted a retail listing that showed pre-orders for the new title would be available for next week. A recent rumour suggested that the next entry in the series would have a futuristic space setting. The new entry in the series is likely to launch by the end of 2016. That's all the gaming news for today. We'll leave you now with the trailer for Refrain Prism Memories, a cyberpunk themed bullet hell shooter published by Dejica that launches on Steam on May the 12th.